Hello everybody, it's a new video. I got more stuff, more computers, which I'll show you right now. I'm going to show you the computers I got a little while ago. And I got, this is what I got with these Dells. Got, I got um these Dell the Optiplex GX520s. I got these, I got three of them from my school. I have one of them at my friend's house. He's using it, Jack's house. He's borrowing one. And I gave him a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. I have 20 or 19 keyboards. Um, I had two mouses since I gave one to Jack. And this one, and this keyboard came with this computer. And it came, I got three monitors, which is one of the monitors are at Jack's house. Yeah, these Dells, the three Dells that I have weren't working. The problem is with them, it didn't boot. They turned on. They um didn't show nothing on the screen, so I tried resetting the RAM and all three of them didn't work. I tried taking a stick out to see which stick was bad. That's what I did. That's what the problem was with all three of the Dells. See, I took um two one stick out of each one since they each or all of them had two. Yeah, and there's a printer, a fan right there, and then there's the Dell, the back of one, and there's the monitors I got. Yeah. So there's the Asus down there and the, this HP printer. That's the printer I said I got a while ago, and there's the down the mention 8200 and uh, here's something I got two days ago with, along with an old laptop which is at my friend's house because it's his I got this HP Pavilion A610N there you go I got this from some of my one of my my friends friends house I think they're moving they threw this out with um, this keyboard and mouse but they threw out a CRT monitor, which I don't want. I took the side panel off here, so that's where the side panel is. Um, this one works fine, even though they threw it away. Nothing wrong with it. Seriously, nothing wrong with it. Where when I plugged it in, it worked. And I have this. Um, well, I don't have it. It's my friend's Jacks. It was a um, what's it called? Fujitsu, um, 1995 laptop with Windows 98. Um, I gave well, it's his because the deal was it is um either I get the laptop or this computer, and I decided to get this because it's way newer. So, oh well, yeah, and then he found it. and It came with a case, a charger, CD drive, floppy drive, battery. It works. It's old. Yeah, it's at his, at his house. If I go to his house, I'll probably bring one of my laptops over to compare them. Yeah, this thing works. It has um double drives in it. I'll power it on this now. And slow down. HP. There's the hard drive right there, the Samsung. I think all HPs have that. And it shows that. XP Home Edition or Home Edition Recovery. And I found these memory sticks inside this computer. They're both sanded. Seriously, they're over in this corner. That's what was jiggling around in there when I got this thing. Because I was like, oh, I hope something broke in there. And I found out it was these two memory sticks and if you slide this panel down there's a card reader and if you look where the prongs are and actually this one goes in here like that and the light turned on and if I unplug it light goes out so there's actually stuff on here but I don't I didn't really look at it I just see if there's anything on it and then here's this PN oh I thought this was a PNY it's another sand disk it goes in this micro SD Yep. I'm gonna have to look at what's on those. I didn't really look yet. Yeah, here's the front. Yeah, this is all seriously. It was just in the corner over here, just sitting in the corner. I was like, what the heck is that? And then I just pulled it out and then it was these cards. Yeah, and here's something about um it does this all the time. It says the Appalachian has failed to start some stupid um software I might have to delete delete. This monitor is perfect, there's no scratches on it. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff on here. The username is um Sarah and there's iTunes. Hear the hard drive chugging. Yeah, this computer worked so fine. I just powered it on. This keyboard, I didn't really test them yet, but what the heck, the keyboard's gonna work. Why, why, do I, why would I even test it? They work. Both the drives work. But there's a problem with this bottom one. Sometimes you just have to hit the top of the computer, which I don't like doing, and then it'll work. And the top one. Yeah, watch. See, they both get done blinking, and then when I... Oh, that's actually working now. So 
Sometimes the bottom one gets stuck. So normally I do this a lot to it and then it fixes it. See? Stuck. Yeah. I don't know. This one's a little bit older. HP, CD writer, and then DVD one. Here's the that's for Prada key. This thing's really dirty. Here's the back. The power supply. Nice power supply. Same one as the um, HP I have in my room. Someone added um broadband card and that dial-up one which was there when I when they bought the thing. Onboard video, um, PS2 mouse port, and USB, and then FireWire port, and then internet. You can see how dirty that fan is, and that one too. Yeah, so that's basically it. I'm gonna do a room setup on my video later, but this is the basement setup. And there's that printer, and then the WH-A200. Oh crap, there's a lot of freaking music on here. I don't know why this is slow. Oh my god, look how many music is on this thing. I only like going p through people's stuff on these computers because you never know if they have some, some person on here. And this thing only has one stick of RAM. I don't really know the spec. I'm not the, I don't know the processor because someone ripped the stickers off. Hmm, I might have to go under control panel. Nope, wrong thing. Mm, control panel. I did um put these in. And it said DCM or something else. I clicked on it and it just showed pitch, pictures, like thousands of them. But I didn't click on it because I didn't really want to look at them. Here's system. It's um, Windows XP Home Edition, um, Intel. Oh, AMD F1. I thought it was a Pentium 4 for some reason. Maybe that's why it has a VIA chipset in it. I was about to say, that can't be Intel. Normally HPs don't have Intel. I don't know, that's weird. Some of them do. AMD F1 XP. 3000 plus 2.10 gigahertz 40, 448 megabytes of RAM yeah there's only one stick in there I might just buy more RAM for this thing because it's just super slow at first and if you look how clogged that heat sink is I'm, I'm about to um go take this to my garage and blow it out like like I did with the um, other HP I got um, a few months ago remember the HP that was sitting right here the white one the A1430 in Looks like the other one I have. Yeah, that one that's in my room right now. I use it. I'm gonna do room setup later and I'll show you it. Yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing what I did to it because this is just nasty. Because it actually gives you instructions on how to um, remove this faceplate. I actually did it too because there's dust in there if you look. Yeah, this is a pretty sweet computer. This is not a mark, it's just some sticky stuff for some reason. If I wipe it, if I wipe it off, it just goes away. This is some sticky stuff. Yeah, there is only one bad part. This is a scratch there. That's about it for the scratches. Yeah, this thing's actually pretty good. I think someone put a new power supply in here because, I don't know, I, I don't think they did, but the wiring, look at those um, rubber bands around it. So someone must have replaced the power supply once because normally this thing, this wire thing, comes out right there, back there in the corner because that's how my power supplies are. Oh, I'm not going to bother messing with it. I'm probably just going to tuck these cords in a little more when the thing's powered off because it's dangerous to me when it's on. Nasty. Yeah, if you look at the fan, look how the dirt in it. If I stop it, look at how dirty it is. That I forgot that's a Cooler Blast fan, I think. Hold on. Yeah, Cooler Master fan. And the power supply, yeah, you can see it's pretty clogged up. Yeah, this PC is perfect. So yeah, there's the product key. Well, I'm not gonna show you it. This is the side panel. I noticed something in the plastic. There's plastic on the top. Yeah, this is really dusty. So thank you for watching. I'm gonna do a room setup later, and I might be doing. I might do a before and after of this HP because it's really dirty. I didn't even freaking clean it yet. I just brought it in two days ago and just. Powered it on and then just let it sit for two days and then I just came back down today and powered it on. So yeah, I'll um I'll make a, I'm a, I'll make an update on this computer later. Same thing with the Dells. I even I already cleaned those Dells up, both of them. I took the heat sinks off, blew them out. Yeah, I already did it all and replaced the thermal compound, thermal paste. Did all that. I don't think this one needs it because it's working fine. So. Yeah, that's the HP computers, and HP computer, and then the Dells. I'm going to be doing a room setup later, so look forward to that video, and I might do a before and after of the HP. Thank you for watching. Bye.